Hi, this is Lucy with another Fallout 76 camp tour video and building tips and tricks. Um, today I am on Emily, my main character, and um, I think we're level 332 now. Uh, last week, after the medieval house, I said that I would like to do something more modern, so um, I have. Uh, my camp is, my new camp is in the forest again, just down the road from Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm. It is in fact opposite the um, spike pit at Hunter's Ridge, if you follow the road down. I get a lot of my inspiration from, well, from watching videos on YouTube, but also um, for builds I use Pinterest a lot. Um, I look for buildings that I find architecturally interesting and see if I can recreate them in Fallout 76. This build was pretty much my own inspiration. Um, I wanted to do something down by the river and I found this little spot which I didn't think would be that easy to build in but it worked out quite well um, and I managed to sort of bridge across to the from the river to the hillside creating a tunnel. This is, I'm calling this the boathouse, it is a modern boathouse. I've dubbed it Blue and Lucy's Holiday Home. Although I don't think Wasteland Deverkeen would let me put this in the Let's Play somehow. I've used the double wall trick and I've also used the um, double half wall trick. I used pillars to create an entrance and hung bulbs in the first few to light this area up at night. I have the crop tile foundations here so that I can plant a few crops and I carried that on under the bridge. I had originally hoped that I'd be able to get my Brahmin in there but there wasn't enough space. I have actually signed my work. <laughs> I've kind of gone for mostly a blue theme with a few highlights of red because most of the furniture in the game is in fact red. Um, I have a simple kitchen. And I created a modern fireplace here using a half wall with one window in it and a fire behind it. I have worked out there's actually seating for 16 people in here at a push, so it's sort of a party house as well. There's access to the river here if you if you want to go for a swim. And there are views up and down the river. You can see up there all the way to um, the bridge. It's a shame that pylon's in the way. If anyone would like to remove it, feel free. You know, licorice tastes better now. Gramps is in good form this morning. I still want, right, right early on in the game, in the beta, <coughs> I tried to swim across the river to see what was over the other side. And if you've, if you've never tried, this is what happens. You cannot go this way. <laughs> it's a shame, it looks so inviting over there. I think partly it's because you cannot go this way that I want to go that way. You never know, maybe... Uh... Oh! I got, I got cuties. Never mind. I got something horrible out of the river. It doesn't happen very often. I quite often use the um, metal cabinets for kitchens but I didn't think they'd look good in this environment so I racked my brain about something else to do and I decided to put four bookshelves together to create this sort of wooden top worktop. 
I have put things on the shelves, but I used a different trick this time. It's one I knew about, but hadn't been able to utilise before, and I'll show you why in a moment. Here's my vendor, which is currently empty, although it is powered up. I built this fireplace. Um, I have built fireplaces before, and when I start doing my bu um, building <coughs> 101s, I will probably include that in some of the later episodes. I did double wall it. I did end up building this about four times to get it exactly how I wanted it. You may notice there is smoke coming out of my chimney and I'll show you how I achieved that in a moment. There's a little sitting area here. So I thought I'd show you how I put things on shelves this time. You take your shelf and you can actually do this with any objects. You can combine two objects, pieces of furniture etc. You need to find a place in your camp area where the object will intersect with the ground but stay green. Now if I release it by pressing A, place, even though it wasn't highlighted at the bottom, you can see that the box on the top has started to come through. And the reason it's obviously doing this is that when you release A it places the bottom item but it places it at the highest point whereas the box is in the original point so it appears to come through you can you can adjust the depth of how deep things go by how far below the surface of the ground you play you pull the bookshelf down I have actually lost an item. There is a box under the ground there somewhere. So there you have it. And as long as you pick up the shelf and not the box, you can move the item to wherever you like. So that is that. I used conduit railings in this build and I will show you how to do them uh, probably on another video. You pretty much just place a table down on the edge, put a conduit at the back of it in the middle and then connect conduits up. You have to replace the table and it will remove the piece of conduit you originally placed but it will leave all of the other pieces and you can then just slot the removed one back in. Here's another example of something I use the um, trick outside to put items on this shelf. I kept the bedroom quite simple. You could get probably another two, two, two beds at least in this room. My bed and that's Blue's bed. To create the double walls up here, um, I placed half walls facing outwards. To do that I had to put another set of floor tiles all the way around the outside. I destroyed them all with a Philema trap, then I came back round and put half walls facing inwards, changed which ones I wanted to windows and repaired all the ones outside and then removed all of the spare floor tiles around the outside. As a small bathroom I'm still 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 waiting for the new bathroom set. 
have a small um, workshop up here with my ammo machine. I have checked, it does not use your resources to build this ammo, it is literally free ammo. But it will only hold a maximum of 200, so you need to empty it fairly routinely. I think it probably produces about 200 an hour. So if you want to sit at your camp and farm ammo, or just remember to go back every hour. I wasn't sure if I was going to get Houdini down in this camp. I couldn't get her on the beach. Um, but I managed to place her up here. I have put a scarecrow down in front of my turret. Um, I tried this early on in the game. It's supposed to attract enemies, so your enemies attack the scarecrow and your turret can then, if it's in line of your turret, your turret can easily kill them. I didn't have a lot of success with it early in the game. Um, I get my chicken noodle soup from killing the chickens at the um, at foundation, the uh, settlers camp. They seem to respawn really quickly. So I thought I'd give it another go, the scarecrow. I did come back yesterday to my camp to find Houdini dead. So still not 100% convinced. I need to be here, I guess, and watch it in action to see. The fireplace. This piece of metal is unfortunately the wrong way round, but because of the way that I built the fireplace, that was unavoidable. Um, the reason the um, fireplace is smoking is because it has a generator in it. I didn't have space for a fusion generator in the workshop because of the short roofs. So I put generators in here um, and a smoking one to produce smoke from the fireplace. That was in fact my friend George's idea. Um, I call him my muse. So thanks George. I'm really happy with this build. Um, it is one of my favourite builds and I will be very loath to tear this one down. The fireplace was very difficult to build um, in this instance because um, because of the positioning of the window and the fire I actually raised that foundation up in there so it was quite tricky to do the double walls with everything sort of offset but I managed it I'm not sure it's something I will do again in a hurry but I suppose it's like anything it's practice so um, I do intend to do some quite advanced building techniques build up on Scarlet when I start that series which probably won't be too long I've decided that if I put it off until I have my IT situation sorted out, I might never get it done. <laughs> so I might make a start on that soon. Um, but overall, I'm I'm quite happy with this, and it and it's got a lot of compliments from friends and visitors. So. Again at night, I've used a lot of lights. Um, it is very dark, but um, it's quite a nice effect at night. I've lit up the paintings with single spots. The string lights obviously add light out on the deck. It is open at this end. I didn't. I'm just going to pretend that there are folding doors but it is a summer house so I do like these um, patio lounges which you get from the White Springs but unfortunately um, you don't actually sit back in them 
you just sit on the end which sort of ruins the effect it would be nice if you could actually lounge in them but uh, it is what it is my next video hopefully next week will be another camp tour but it's something slightly different I've decided to try and it will be an intro for a new mini series that I'm planning to do on Nora so um, tune in next week to see what that's about so it's goodbye from me and goodbye from Gramps I hope you enjoyed the tour Thank you for watching.